じゃあ行こうか。シャワー浴びた。ああ AFA is no longer dependent on Facebook or YouTube to live stream our original programming. As of now, American Family Radio shows like Today's Issues, The Court, Airing the Addisons, and The Hamilton Corner are streaming live on the AFA streaming app. Independent live streaming is the next step as we come out from among them and separate ourselves unto the Lord. Search AFA Streaming or visit streaming.afa.net to sign up. Hi, this is Miki Addison. Join me, my husband Will, and our kids for AFA at the Ark. We'll also be joined by Wesley and Walker Wildman and their families as we host a mini conference at the Ark Encounter. Oh, don't I know? お母さんがあのあれだってカレーを食べてくれって昼はカレーライスカレーはカレーが残ってるそうカレーを食べてくれって今日エクササイズしたのいつもの先生よかったね女性のですねああ。ペルーペルーから来てる人だペルー We also had this same sex attracted couple contact us, and they said after seeing the film, they wanted to live obedient lives for Christ no matter what. And they said, Please pray for us. We know this is going to be hard. We've even had people come to faith in Jesus through In His Image. To find out more, visit inhisimage.movie. I think there are two things I've learned that have guided me. To have great relationships with my adult children. Ken Swarner on Focus on the Family Minute. One is show, don't tell. I'm not a fiction writer, but any fiction writer will tell you good writing is showing the story, not telling the story.、Mm. And what I mean by that is you can lecture all day long to your children, but it is white noise. They look like they're listening, but they're not listening. But what they are doing is watching you. And they're seeing how you live your life.、Mm. Second is the whole free will lesson for me, or what I've learned about that is God so loves my children, and He gave them free will, and He's got them. Our job is to love our kids unconditionally and understand that God's got the rest of it. More at familyminute.org. Our school system. 
But that's something that you need to check into, folks, if you're in one of those states. Texas, Kentucky, Minnesota, Oklahoma, Oregon, and Washington. Find out if your school district has these Confucius classrooms and speak up. All right, back to our phones. Jesse uh, in Tennessee, go ahead. Yeah, thanks for taking my call. In regards to the Biden family going ahead and acknowledging this grandchild, um, she'd probably be better off without them because I think they're into pedophilia and they're uh, reprobate minds. They have no regard for women or life, so she'd probably be better off. This is the comment. Thank you. Well, yeah, I, I don't very much is going to make it to the White House. I may be wrong, but I think, as we were talking about a few months ago, the acknowledging, the Bidens acknowledging her existence, which they have refused to do so up to now, is pure politics. It's to get them through the 24 election. Um, and that's what they're interested I really don't believe they're interested in this precious little girl. Rebecca in Oklahoma, go ahead. Thank you for taking my call. So, I, my commenting question is this. Is the Biden administration has done, and it's doing everything it can to destroy this country. The open border, the positioning of cartels all over the United States now, and the lawlessness. Is there a way that we as a state and then a nation can look so confident and pressure them from the people because this is a nation of, for, and by the people, supposedly. Yep. So that is my question. Well, Rebecca, a good question. I think we first have to acknowledge that we are a divided nation, and and that's not generated from my mind. This is this is a belief I believe, even amongst conservatives who want to take an honest look at the country, that you have not all Californians, but you have Californians that keep electing far left politicians. You have um, in New York, same thing. Despite the crime, despite everything that's going on, high taxes, people in New York keep voting in those liberal politicians. Chicago. Chicago just had one of the most left-wing mayors. She just stepped down, but they replaced her with an even more radically left mayor. And now in Illinois, I was just reading this before I came into the studio, they're going to start allowing non-citizens to be police officers. Non-citizens to be police officers. You're going to have people who are not citizens of this country arresting citizens. This is, this is where the left will take the country. And that's why, you know, I've talked about it before. Virginia turned. It turned from a blue state to a red state. So we know it can happen. But people have to get to the polls. And again, I'm not breaking any new ground here. One of the big problems in the conservative community, people don't bother to vote. Simple as that. They know the issues, but they don't turn out to vote. That's one thing the Democrats get their base out. And sometimes, and I believe this has happened in the past in this country, things, things have to get really bad before conservatives will finally get out there and say, maybe I better do something about this. And I think we've reached that point. All right. Uh, let's go to Greg in Minnesota. Go ahead, Greg. Thanks for taking my call. Yeah. Um, when, when Joe Biden talks about the Biden family and all that,
and changing the minds. When he says our children, he's talking about changing their minds, changing their hearts, changing their worldview. And that worldview includes growing more dependence on the government. And again, I repeat it. The goal is to get to the place, get the country to the place where it's dependent on the government. This is what happens in these banana republics, folks. The government takes, and, and, and part of it is, is controlling the information. This is what happened during the pandemic. The Biden administration gets together, Dr. Fauci and company gets together with the social media to shut down anybody who had an opposing view or a different view on treatments, all of that sort of thing. Again, I, I, I do believe that all that has happened over the last three or four years is waking up a good portion of America. That's the way it's going to have, going to change. All right, to uh, Ann in Virginia, go ahead. Hi, Mr. Jackson. I'm a big fan of yours and E.W. Uh, Jackson. And I'm calling, and I hope your listening audience is really listening to every word you're saying because it's so true. And um, there's a problem with Arlington National Cemetery and a very covert operation that's trying to take down a beautiful mo monument um, that was sculpted by Moses Ezekiel, who was the foremost Jewish artist in the United States, and it's his headstone, and there is a proposal through our own Department of Defense to, and the Navy Commission to destroy this, and if they can come in our cemeteries, because we know they're anti-Christian, we know the communists are against the traditional family, mom, dad, two kids, and Christianity and private property, and we need all the Congress people, people to talk to their representatives, you know, senators and House members to stop this because once they do that in our premier cemetery, which has, you know, wrote names for Eisenhower and Pershing and all these heroes, if they can come in, eight people decided this and they are being, um, the, the naming commission, and they are leaving out huge swaths of history and how this was uh, this monument was to bring the country together in 1912, and I just think you and your team should know about it, and Sandy and everyone. The military, of course, recruitment's down when you are pulling down war memorials with taxpayer money just because, uh, and then you leave out half the history, revise and change it. No one's going to sign up to protect our nation. No. And, and can, I, I, can I ask you why they want to do this? What is the what is the reason they give? Well, they they say this is, um, I guess, Confederate. You know, anything Confederate. But what the, it is, it, it is, it is about reconciling. It's got blacks and whites working together on the drum. There's 32 full figure, Bob relief um, figures. And what they hate is the idea that in the South there was love in the South between races. Yes, we're so glad slavery's gone, but you cannot go back and expunge the brick in the you know, walkway at Fort Benning or digging up horses that it's like a malice Taliban purging that is happening. And that is not American. American American uh, people build monuments. We forgive, which is a very Christian uh, mentality. But this is a great, the guy is buried underneath this. And it's a very Christian monument. It has, um, well, Old Testament and New Testament was done by uh, famous Jewish man from Virginia, raised in Richmond, first Jew at uh, CMI. Okay, well, and, and we have, we're almost out of time. What is the name of the monument again? It's the Reconciliation.